Hello, friends. Hello. It is Friday, August 30th, one day before the big weekend, Labor Day weekend. So, I hope everybody's, uh, well, by the time you see this, it'll be way after Labor Day. So, I hope you had a good weekend. Anyway, let's get started. This vehicle is not going to get a full detail. This is going to be basically a touch-up. This vehicle is in really good shape, so I'm going to focus my energy in places that it might need to be cleaned up. And I'll show you some of those places. It's not in bad shape at all. It's in clean condition. I don't even think it needs a rinseless. It rained this morning. So we're going to focus our energy on things like this. You know, making sure we're looking over the vehicle, but this vehicle is virtually dust free. I am not kidding. It has been detailed before. Now, the carpets are in pretty rough shape. We're not really going to do much with them, but I am going to wipe them down as if they are a hard surface. And then I'm also going to vacuum. But man, whoever owned this took superb care of it. And it smells wonderful in here. This doesn't even look like it needs my help at all. So you see, we've got a few little spots here. I will try to get them off, but there's no guarantee. You know, every car, being a 2008, every car is gonna have some kind of blemish or whatever. But this thing looks good. Now, if I had to have a beige or a white interior, you know I don't like those in interiors. But if they're taken care of, they're beautiful cars. They're beautiful to have. Look at that, you guys. Shoot. Mom says it'll take about an hour. I'm going to say 45 minutes. Look at that. This is literally just going to be a touch up. That is all we're doing. Well, let me tell you, this is the kind of detail every detailer even if you're not at a dealership once. <laughs> and um, I have seen detailers charge somebody $275 just to maintain a vehicle in this good of condition. For me, it would have been $85, call it good, less than an hour. I think it's gonna take 30 minutes. I'm gonna start the timer and we're gonna see how long it takes me. I'm literally gonna do very little. It's just a touch up, but we have a nice little detail coming up after this one. So today I got two products I'm going to use in my, my frugal little mean green bottle that I repurposed. I have Polestar and then for the carpets, I have Zep. I'm just going to spray a little bit on there and wipe it down as if it is a hard surface. Something else I want to point out. This seat belt is a little gunky, so I'm gonna use the Zep to kinda of spruce it up. Hopefully it will spruce up. Seat belts don't like me. <laughs> so, let's get started. We wanna get this done in an hour.
there it is we're done now, I did wipe the steering wheel down a little bit got the carpet a little bit cleaner I did work on this a little got it looking a little better but it's still pretty rough the other one is too and this back seat looking good all I need to do is stage it a little bit which I'll do after I get out of it went ahead and spruce this up a little bit it's looking good now it's ready to go to sale you might have seen I was able to improve that big dark stain there underneath there alrighty so the grand total is 22 minutes and 34 seconds it's a hell of a detail <laughs> now this is a touch-up sometimes you may be asked to do touch-up for vehicles that have been on the line for a little bit this is a diamond in the haystack this was purchased at the auction and it was essentially ready to go and so we just focused our energy on the places we knew it needed so thanks for hanging out on my channel guys i sure do appreciate it smash that subscribe button because I would love to have you. Anyway, thanks for being here, and we will see you on the next video. Peace.